Hey, lads. All right. Uh, I was hanging out with Deadly Slobs chat, and I, and I reached out to him and said I'd, I'd send him some content formats for Star Citizen because he was kind of hitting the wall with what you can do with it already. Uh, and then I kind of sat down and made some notes and realized that maybe I could put it together as a quick video. Uh, so what I've been doing lately, is, let's start from the beginning here, actually. I should take a second. So with Star Citizen, you have kind of three main high-level buckets for the type of content you can do. Uh, there's scenario-based, competitive-based, and then I would say organic-based. Scenario is what a lot of the orgs do and what a lot of the YouTubers do that don't live stream but just make content for YouTube is they have pretty big orgs generally because it takes a lot of people to execute on this, but they set up scenarios within it. They're super fun to play in too. Um, generally, the org members have a great time, right? We've done a bunch of them all when over with the Skunk Works uh, and with the Freelance Fighter Academy as well. We put together these kind of big level scenarios and, and run them out takes a lot of setup though. It's not something you can do content creation day in, day out. Like it's like once a month type thing. Uh, maybe once every two weeks if you really get things running or you have a really well operating one like the skunks that we're pulling off once a week. There's some pretty compli complicated stuff that we're doing. Really cool and fun, but then, you know, it's a huge log logistical setup and Star Citizen can work against you and ruin the whole thing quite easily. The next bucket there is uh, competitive, right? We have a lot of AC players. Uh, you know, there's tournaments that are popping up now. I run one myself. It's a house league one called the Thunderdome. We run it under the Freelance Fighter Academy. Gabs has one going now, and I know Avenger one. And then there's obviously Atlo Esports that really kicked it off for all of us and showing, yeah, there, there's a market for this for sure. It does pretty well. Um, like any tournament type style system, you can only run them for a limited amount, right? So again, not a day in and day out type thing. Uh, but good content to look at and start setting up for. I think there'll be a lot more of that. And as we get our casting uh, you know, formats down and how to you know, show it from the player's perspective when we start getting those camera tools and stuff. I think we can do some really interesting competitive stuff. Plus, this game is really enjoyable on the skill level. Smaller segment on the market that watches it, though. The last one is the organic one, which is, I'd say, you know, the standard streamer format. So competitive is good for streaming and white you know, YouTube content creators. You can kind of meet in the middle there. Organic's 100% what you know, live streaming wants. You want to be able to jump in the game, have these non-prescripted interactions with players, and then what comes out of there can be this amazing content, you know, hit or miss type thing, obviously. Uh, problem with Star System with that is that we don't have a lot of touch points outside of the dynamic events. So what we've been doing, and what kicked me off on this, is Durgan Kale, the squad lead that I'm in. Uh, he fantastic leader, super great guy to play with, really smart and active and very good on the competitive side too. I really like playing with him. But he came up with the bunker busting idea, which is basically take a small team. Now this one requires ideally I'd say three to five. You can do it solo, but it just lowers the percentage of interactions, right? Because you're you're can't be in all spots at once. But you break your team up, one person each to each planet, right? So you need at least three. And then you just start looping through all the bunkers where missions generate. There's only about four or five per planet, right? So you just hop, jump, jump, jump until you find someone. Then you all converge. And then you can go after them, have a PvP encounter. The other one that I've started doing, and I ran into this somewhat by accident, um, is cave raiding. So the one on Daymar is really good for because it has a lot of traffic. Um, and go to the cave, right? The Take the Criminal Nest mission one. Go to that cave. Once you learn how to fly there, right down the... Your, your reference points, right? It's not too hard. You jump to Damar OM3, fly like 228 kilometers uh, away from OM3 toward like closest to OM1, but it's like 35 uh, on Galactic North, uh, the heading, and then fly there, and then you have to you know, cross-reference from there from the other OM points, but you can do it. Once you learn how to fly there, it's pretty easy, and then you can bed hop from there, right? And then you can hop, and if no one's there... Then you just go in, you raid the cave, you fight the AI, it's kind of fun. It's not bad, it gets a little boring. I don't go all the way down now, I just go into the first level where all the boxes are, grab the hat and I run back up, go to my bed, move a little bit over a bit, bed log, jump in, see if anyone's there. The reason why I do run in though and do it is because other people will show up. And I've had that instance, it's the, the one I recorded, I've had like four really high quality interactions doing this. Just over the last couple of days I've been doing it too. So I've been just testing it out. I didn't get them all recorded because I wasn't actually going in to do that. I was just trying to test some stuff out. One of them I did. He thirsted me, though. He got me. I missed him, turned, and then he got me. It was great. But then he didn't realize I was a person, and this is what I love. There's an opportunity window here to do this type of content, um, but you really need to figure out how to narrow down your scope so that you can 
generate a lot of interactions. There's some perceptions that people don't like this, but man, I've gotten along with everyone. I've beaten one guy. Um, he was just coming in to raid it and running down as I just finished looting it. And I had a backpack full. Like I had like 200k worth of loot on me, not counting what was in my ship, which thankfully he didn't blow that up. I lit him up. He went down, but he didn't die. We started talking because even when you're down, you can talk to each other. I stripped him of his weapons, healed him up. He kept on going, doing this thing. I kept on doing mine, you know, chatted up. The guy that I'm showing here at the end of this, uh, you know, we chatted and it, it's really fun to see. So I'll leave you for that. But like the interaction quality can be fantastic. This loop, the cave rating one, you get ship battles and you get PvP, right? You get a mix of it. Uh, another one I had, I ran into a free man, wiped them because for some reason they didn't go for their ship and they kept on trying to get me while I was in my ship. And I wasn't even trying to be hostile initially. And then, started looting them, uh, and I got their ship loot, because I blew their ship after, but then another one of their buddies showed up, and I had to fight the saver by running back to it, right, and I got in just in time before the shields went down, and I boosted, and I was able to turn around and fight them, push them off. It was a good time, man. It was real good. So, that's what I've been, I recommend, Deadly, like, and anyone else doing uh, the Sarsen. Once you run out of the PvE content, because it's really fun, the PvE is really good, but you do exhaust it pretty quickly. The money-making side, you know, mining, refining, Doing bounties while that cooks in the refining and then going back to space trucking. That's pretty decent too. It's pretty chill content. Like you do it once every blue moon type thing. It's also very well represented in the community. Um, the PvP side has a really good strong following, but you know, the competitive and the scenario based ones, they, well, they do draw a crowd. They're kind of better content for YouTube than it is, let's say, for Twitch and live streaming. And then the organic side, you know, Content creators like Cutlet, Space Cutlet, has been a huge one for the organic type of content and gameplay. And it's just been really difficult to focus players together. Like, there's not a lot of funnel points. The caves, because they're so high value right now, are definitely a funnel point, so that's great. Uh, and the bunkers, right? Because a lot of people like running those bunker missions. You can get a pretty high probability of getting interactions. Like, we, we generally, every time we go out now and we do the, the bunker busting, we find people, 100%. I, I'll actually show, I think, a bit of this clip. I don't, I'm not going to play it, but it's right in the background. The guy standing in that white subscriber armor is Cody, Kodasaurus, one of our guys. He was so proud of that because that is something he doesn't have access to. He got it because they were able to raid, kill, and loot another player that had it. And that player can get it back just by resetting their account. Next life will get it. But it gives a little taste of that going forward, right? Uh, it was real good. Anyway, that's about it. I'm going to play the, the clip now over here. This is the, uh, you know, an L for me, he got me, it was great. I, I like how it worked out. Um, but a big W in the sense of just talking to the community, enjoying that, and really encouraging this type of mentality. And I'd like to see more of it in Star Citizen. So. That's it, all right, cheers, love you all, bye. Oh, damn it! <sighs> God damn it, nice. I don't know if you can hear me. If you can. GG. Oh, fuck, you're a player? Oh, yeah, man. Fuck me. That, oh, I was coming in to shit, kill you. Dude. I was coming in to kill you, so that was good. <laughs> <laughs> I was turning on you there. Oh, I, I, I mean, that's why I was checking. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, man. I do this. I, I fly to the, the caves and then come in and add an actual, like, real AI. It's fun, dude. It's real fun. You got this one. You won this one. You, you can thirst me and take my shit. There's nothing in the ship. I think... Oh, no, I have a crate in there, but it's pretty empty. But yeah, good game, man. Dude, you GG. Me, man. Oh, I almost did. I was checking that crate, and then I, you were behind the thing, and I started to turn away, and I was coming back, and you just got me right there. What's your name? I'm an old man, Johnny. Oh, wait, I know what it is. It's Forsaken. Yeah, yeah, I scanned your ship. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man. Good game, dude. Yeah, yeah. Tap me up, bud. GG. Get some loot. <laughs>